Good evening, I'm Emily Turner. Law enforcement officers near and far are showing up for their brothers in blue, especially following the announcement of Deputy Moyer's death this afternoon. Prior to becoming a deputy, Moyers was an explorer with the sheriff's office from 2011 to 2013. He graduated from St. John's River State College, where he received his training. Back in 2018, Deputy Moyers received an award for going above and beyond the call of duty on a drug case. His colleagues say he was known for his proactive police work, good attitude, and hard work. Right now, the community in Callahan has come together to support everyone involved in the search for McDowell and one another. Action News Jack's Kristen Rary has been on this scene for most of the day, and Kristen, the community has really stepped up to help while this search continues. Yeah, that's exactly right, Emily. We're here in front of one of the command centers right now. It's set up just in front of those woods that law enforcement officers has been searching for, searching through for the last three days. And now the community is coming together. It was a scary, but I'm past the scary part now. I'm mad. I'll, I want him brought to justice. The small town of Callahan is mourning the loss of Deputy Joshua Moyers today. He's always been very nice. Everybody's had really great things to say about him, so he's going to really be missed. Grief now fuels the massive search for Patrick McDowell. He is wanted for murder after Deputy Moyers passed away this afternoon. It's scary, like it's because you never know where he's at, like what he's going to do, so you never know what could happen. Over 15 law enforcement agencies continue the search effort, and community members are doing what they can. And I was in law enforcement for 32 years. I've done those traffic stops where one minute it goes from a simple traffic stop to, you know, bullets flying. I thought I would come out and see if I could pick up any kind of a feeling. They want to help law enforcement as they work around the clock. People have been supplying food, um, bug repellents. They've been volunteering to feed them, bring them anything they need. They were just offering free meals to all of our law enforcement. It's basically just like the smallest thing that we can do to show our support and um, appreciation for everything that they're doing for us right now and all the long hours that they're putting in is the least that we can do. And there's also help for the family of Deputy Moyers. They've started a, an account for the family of the officer that was that passed away. They say it's been their small contribution to keeping the town safe as the officers continue to comb the woods in search of McDowell. And I feel safe knowing that they're all out there, but it's so just scary in like the same sense. And the sheriff's office did confirm that Deputy Moyers was an organ donor, which means he's helping people even in his passing. In Callahan, Kristen Rary, Action News Jax.